let us see some examples here and we will see five examples so at first we will see how to multiply a number to an argument with lambda functions let's begin here in on pycharm create a project file new project let me name it python lambda functions click on create now our project got created let us create a new file right click python file type a name i'll type demo so we have our first file demo.py so here we will multiply a number to an argument so at first take a variable we will use the lambda we have used the lambda keyword then we will be adding some expressions so we are multiplying the argument with the particular number that is we are multiplying with 2 here now when i'll print it i'll print val25 the result is val25 that means this is a lambda function val and within that we are passing 25 value so 25 will get multiplied to 2 and the result will be 50 let's run right click run here you can see the result is 50 so this is how you can multiply a number to an argument in lambda functions let us create a new example right click new python file demo2 press enter so herein we are displaying a string let's say we have let's say we have a string now we will display it how using the lambda functions use the lambda use the lambda keyword then the name of the string after that we will print it like this okay so when i'll right click and run it will show me the output hello world so this is how we can display a string using the lambda keyword that is the lambda function let's see another example demo 3 now we will multiply three argument multiply three arguments with lambda functions let us create a variable and within that use the lambda keyword so we will set three variables i j k and we will here multiply them using the lambda okay so here you can see we have not created a function that means you cannot see a function it is a function without a name an anonymous function that's it uh, just uh, print it how i'll just uh, print val and within that the arguments for lambda function i'll add the three arguments so i have added three arguments 10 20 30 right click and run so herein i have added the values 10 20 30 it has been multiplied by the lambda function so the result is 6000 that is 10 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 30 so we have multiplied the three arguments using lambda functions now let's see another example demo 4 here and we will find the maximum of two numbers here and we will find the maximum of two numbers with lambda functions how let us create a variable within that we have used the lambda keyword so here we are printing i if i is greater than j that means if the maximum of i and j is i it will print i else it will print j so we have set the conditions using lambda okay now i'll print i'll add two values here both of them will get compared here so it will display 100 why because i is 50 and j is 100 it won't satisfy the first condition because i is greater than j we want but an in actual i is less than j so the condition will go will go here and j will get printed that is j is the maximum value when i'll run it it will print j that is 100 so in this way we can easily find the maximum of two numbers with lambda function now next example okay so we will find the square of a number with lambda functions okay so herein we have taken a variable 
so herein we have val we have used the lambda keyword and we have just multiplied the variable i twice why because we wanted the square of a number okay so i'll just display the result how just by using the val and just mentioning the argument it will go here multiply 9 into 9 that is the result should be 81 right click and the result is 81 in this way guys we found the square of a number